Hey everyone, in this video, I'm just going to explain to you um, how to use email marketing and its importance within your marketing strategy. So, ex previously explained concept of selling anything online is you have the channels of uh, where you're driving traffic from, from your either um, paid advertising or from your post groups, etc. Um, from there, any post, when, when you're creating a post with a call to action, um, you obviously want people to do something, either message you um, or send you an email or give you a call, etc. If you're selling something online, um, obviously you will have a website or you might have a, a sales funnel, uh, which I'm going to explain in a different video. So generally speaking, when you have a website that you're selling some something on, whether it's your course, your um, e-commerce shop, uh, etc., you have your sales uh, page or your page offer, your, your website with the offer in this place. So what happens is, is before they get to the page where you will lose um, their contact details and you won't have any further uh, possibility to check who has visited your website, whether to find out if they will be interested in finding out more. Maybe they're not ready to buy when you're ready to sell. So what you need to do is actually go through with them to that page when previously getting their contact details and building their trust. And then after building the trust, then getting them to the sales page. So that process is created through a, what's called a sales funnel. And the first thing is basically creating a landing page, which is collecting their details um, and then going into a thank you page with a video that explains um, that explains basically what can you help them with, who you are, what you do, why you're doing it. And then once you explain who you are, then basically you can then encourage them to uh, go to your offer and get something from you. So. We're going to focus on the email marketing and where it stands in the whole process. So with the sales funnel and the landing page, or someone called them a squeeze pages, so opt-in in pages, um, which can be created what I call, uh, what is called a click funnel. So there is other, you can obviously, like if you're a good web developer, you can create them with, um, uh, with other softwares, uh, with other software such as uh, Builderall or uh, WordPress, but it might be more time consuming and you might not get as much training as the ClickFunnels provides. Most of the, well, let's call them gurus or the most um, uh, best marketers in the world pretty much uses ClickFunnels. So um, landing page is a, is a one page that people do not have a menu. They don't have any other option to do anything but create their details in exchange for something. That something is actually a lead magnet, such as ebook, uh, any sort of like a free gift, such as either a voucher, uh, an offer, or um, a, cheat, a, a cheat sheet, or some sort of guide. Usually, they they um, generally speaking, it is a, a freebie or a lead magnet in exchange for their details. So the easiest and simplest it is. Usually, it is better. Um, there is a way of creating landing pages, which I'm not going to explain in this video. It's just a general idea. It's a one page with no menu, no options other than submitting their details and um, and getting something in return. So you can ask for like name and email or you can ask just for the email. So people sometimes don't like to provide too much of their details and sometimes they provide uh, fake emails or emails that they usually using for kind of spam, let's call it. So when, when you get to the point that you create a good landing page and they provide you their name and email or just an email and they click submit, you will use a hook title in order to offer them uh, something. So by the hook title, it means like you're encouraging them to provide you the deta their details in exchange for something. Um, more about the hook titles in another video. So after they submit their details, their details is going into your email marketing software uh, where you can actually create the trust and create further relationship uh, by uh, sending them a series of emails, whether it's an autoresponder or newsletter.
So now we're going to move on to what happens when they submit the detail. So when they submit the detail, which there is a, actually a close um, connection between the two software. So the software for building uh, sales funnels and your email marketing software. So software as of um, uh, online um, online online program for um, sending an emails so once their emails is submitted on the landing page or whether you uh, get their email through like facebook group or somewhere else and you make a list uh, for instance you can make a list of emails collected on your um, excel spreadsheet so that excel spreadsheet can be exported into um cvc file i believe like um just exporting the list um in excel excel format and that list can be imported into your email marketing um, software. That email list, or whether if they if they actually use the that form rather than you manually collect, you can either manually collect the emails or you can do it on the autopilot. So having a page uh, for with a sales funnel um, can create can collect their details automatically, and that details are automatically put it into an email list. Everyone. There's many, many courses on email list, list building, email list building, etc., which is really important because that is your business asset. Once you create your contact details of your potential customers, um, offering certain incentive, so a lead magnet, that email list will be um, your asset because you can keep uh, promoting stuff to them. You can keep building trust. You can keep uh, sending them offers, you can create loyal customers that once they got your trust, once they purchase something from you, they might be interested in more um, more products, more expensive products, or sometimes even um, further um, further offers. So even if you change uh, and you start selling something else, but they know you, they like you, and then you can start basically keep sending the different things that you can help them with. So. Your email list is your asset, and this is what you should focus on quite, um, uh, quite regularly. So once you create your email list, you can send them an email. And there's two ways of sending email marketing campaigns. What is email marketing campaign? Well, basically, it's a series of emails that you will set an outcome. So say you want to promote a new product. Right, so you can keep building trust. You can keep building the relationship by sending them a series of emails that will um, create that trust with them. So you can send different. Each email can con uh, can contain an information about different aspect, uh, different different problem. No, sorry, different solution for their different problems. So when you send each email with pro saying what solution, what problem you can solve for them. And then say, like, let's say you send on day one, you will send an email saying about problem about email list building or getting leads or something like that, or a pro like health health issue, or um, let's say if they have a problem, they want to buy a scale and they don't know which one you can, you, and you're selling scales, for instance, you can talk about each feature of the scale, but not about promoting what the scale does, but what problem does it solve. So when you explain in, in one email that it's not it's important not to check their weight as of how much they weight but how much water they contain how much water their body contains or how much fat their body contains etc you can first explain what is important then you need to say okay then you need to measure how much fat is in their body how much water is in their body how much muscles is in their body because muscles are burning more uh, calories than um than general like obviously the fat so um there is different ways you can explain and each email provides value that solves some sort of problem that they might have when which you explained earlier and basically then you need to then in the last email like email fifth or seventh uh, might give them the solution okay here is the scale that i will recommend to you it checks your body fat it checks your um, uh, muscle mass, it checks your water um, within your body, etc., etc. So that way you created the trust, you you teach them, you educate them about the problem, you educate them about the solution, and then you provide the product that solves all of that um, problems. 
so you can do two things to send you can send a newsletter and you can send an autoresponder the difference uh, between them is newsletter is being sent to a contact from your list when they provide the name and the email their, um, the newsletter will be sent to that email and if they uh, if they put the name if you ask for it uh, you can use um, it's a piece of code which is actually created as a, just a click button and you can actually insert uh, a code within the email that will grab their, their name from the list and insert it into an email so then the email is more customized it's a bit more personalized and you can send them a newsletter that is being directed to them with their name. So hi, name, Bob, John, whatever, if they fill it in. And then that sends an email to your list only to existing contacts. Once sent out, new added contacts won't receive it. Okay, so once, let's say you have a new offer or you have an offer for that partic particular week, and uh, obviously if you don't have contacts on your list they won't receive it but what you can do is if you have let's say 100 people emails um, on your list you can send a newsletter this offer is valid for only three days five days or so you will you will send a newsletter uh, that will you will create an email send same as you would send to one person talking about your offer uh, and basically once it's sent out to all your contacts from your list it won't be sent again. So if a new contact will join your list, they won't receive that email, okay? So this is only for the existing contacts. Anyone new won't receive it. So any one-time updates uh, you can send out, if it's like something new, someone new to, uh, that joins your list, they will already see the updates already. So there is no need to update them with the email, what's gonna be new. You can also send some uh, promos, offers, uh, good for creating relationship with current customers. So you can retain the customers. So you can send them if you're going on a trip and you're updating them with like, oh, today I'm in Thailand, today I'm in Dubai or something. You can send them a newsletter. It won't be relevant like to someone who joins your list a month after. It's no point to send them an email like, oh, today I'm in Dubai because it's not relevant anymore. Hence, the newsletter is only, to, uh, it's only like current time email. With the autoresponder, this is for something like, as I said, to create the trust, send, uh, promote your current offer. So anyone from your list can receive an email on a selected by you day. So as soon as they sign up, that's a day zero. That's why it doesn't start from day one. Uh, day zero is the day they join. So you will send them like a welcome email. Welcome to my email list or welcome to the tribe of... Hmm, marketing rebels um, you wanted to find out information about x y and z and i would suggest to uh, make the email relevant to your hook from your landing page so if they sign up for the if they provided their details to let's say get an ebook about um, let's say either binge eating or about mental health or about weight loss uh, whatever your hook title is i would strongly suggest to put a subject of your email uh, the same as your hook on your landing page, uh, hook title. So you can say, hey, Mary, um, Liz, whatever, Bob, um, uh, thanks, for, first, thanks for requesting this information on weight loss, binge eating, coaching, whatever you have, uh, whatever you got to offer to them. And then you basically uh, provide some details about you so maybe a little bit of storytelling um, and basically this email on day zero so you write an email you selected that you were gonna send them that email on day zero as soon as they join and anyone who joins uh, that email list so anyone who fills in the detail whether it is in March April May they will fill in the details they will be added to the list they will be sent exactly the same email as soon as they sign up, they will receive the uh, email that is uh, set up to be sent out on day zero. Then you will send an email probably on day one, day two, day three, four, five, six, seven, and so on and so forth. So with those emails, as previously stated, you can create that, um, that bond, that relationship building, show you as authority. So you will teach them something. You need to provide value with every single email. 
So when you do that, uh, minimum email, what we call it touch point to build relationship is five to seven. Different sources will tell you some, some will tell you minimum five, some will tell you minimum seven. Let's stick to minimum five, and at, um, but ideally you'll aim for seven or more. So that email autoresponder will be sent on the email days that you will um, that you will set it up to send. After those seven or after after the first week, you might not want to send them an email every single day because it sometimes might be pain in the ass. I don't know. Um, certain people do send like emails two three times a day uh, autoresponders. Some people send it once a day. Some people send it three times a week, four times a week. It's entirely up to you. You need to check. Bear in mind, the idea of that is you are being, um, if you are keep sending them emails, you keep reminding them about your existence and your solution to their problem. So if you keep being on their mind by sing, constantly sending them emails at least a couple times a week, well, you may count on the fact that, uh, oh, if they are not ready to buy on day zero, they might be ready to buy from you and they might have the problem and they might have the finance to purchase the solution from you on day 30. So it is important to keep sending them, to keep reminding them that you have the solution for the problem. Uh, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the email marketing software that I am using. Bye for now.